inside of the trunk area of the vehicle, just along our passenger side and our driver's side there, we do have a little storage space. And then we also have a fully removable tray. So we can literally take this first tray out and then that's going to show us another little storage area, which is always a nice thing to have a bunch of extra storage. And then we can literally take this out and we can slide it out in order to show our mini spare tire. So we've got an 18 inch mini spare and then we also have our spigot along the side there as well. So if we ever need to use a jerry can to fill up, that's where we're going to make it happen. Taking a peek at the cargo dimensions for the vehicle, there are a few different dimensions that will be showing up in just a second, but we do have our base cargo area measurements there. So a nice amount of width, depth and height. Now inside of the lower trim level, so the standard and the XLT version of the vehicle, the third row is gonna be a manual fold. We do have an option for a power fold third row in some of the higher trim levels. And inside of these ones, it's actually very straightforward to fold the seats down. So we do have a little latch there. So we're literally just gonna pull this thing up and we're just gonna fold down. And it is a flat fold. And as you saw there, very, very simple. But look at the difference in the depth when we have that second row, when we have, sorry, that third row folded down. Now, one of the measurements that are gonna be showing up there as well, there are technically two because we've got one from the loading area. So in the very top to the bottom there, now on top of that, if we move inside, we'll have a little bit of extra space there as well. It's all gonna depend on how you're stacking boxes. Now, we do have a few different ways that we can fold these seats down and it's ultimately gonna depend on what's happening with that middle row because the middle row, as you can see there, is a bench seat. We've got the option for either a bench seat or we've got the option for dual captain's chairs instead. Now we've got a few different ways that we can fold down the second row seats as well, and that's gonna depend on if you've got the bench or the dual captain's chairs. Obviously, if it was dual captain's chairs, single press in order to lower down either side, but if you've got the bench seat, we've got another little tab just along the very top. We're gonna to pull that in order to fold this down as well. So as you can see there, a little bit more depth, but we lose a little bit of height there as well. Now it's not a, it is a flat fold there, but one thing that would be interesting if it was a flat fold that can actually kind of move forward a little bit there as well, just for easier access. But I mean, at the same time, even the way that this thing is set up, we still do have quite, amount, quite a nice amount of depth inside of this thing. 